Hey there, and welcome back to channel 64. So I've been busy. I built this giant magma cube farm, which of course houses our frog lights as well as, you know, magma cubes. So we have frog lights, we get our magma blocks, and uh, well, you know, I have too many already. Um, silly me, I went ahead and put in double the amount of frogs <laughs> from last season. I don't know why I do these things. Because I had too many frog lights last season with just three frogs, and now we have six. And so, now we still have too many frog lights. So what am I going to do with all these frog lights? Aside from use them? Why, open a shop in the sewer, of course. So we have the forbidden frog lights, and this is where we sell our frog lights. And of course, we're making some pretty good diamonds off of these. I gotta go refill this. There's a camel in the sewer. That's not strange. That's a normal thing in the sewer. Also, I have been AFKing my wood farm and already have quite a bit of logs. Uh, this, well, nothing in there, I guess. Some sticks. Uh, quite a bit of logs. I've already taken quite a bit out of here as well, and this is going to go well with our upcoming projects. I'm also getting some azalea because we are using, and zombies apparently, because uh, we are using this for all sorts of uh, oak trees, and of course we're growing this with azaleas. Um, and bamboo. Started that. And, well, wolves, which will be for another farm that will be building very soon. How soon, of course? How about now? That's right, I built another farm. That's totally unlike me at all. So this right here is ENXO4's brand new farm. This is the uh, Pure Pressure farm. It's basically like his other Wither Skull farm, except um, now it also works well with blazes. And so we had to go down here and actually deposit some of those wolves to scare the wither skeletons into um, their areas over there. Although I'm not sure why they're not running right now. They're just chilling out. Not afraid of these wolves for whatever reason. But typically they will run into the exit here, which is, you know, going to be through this portal and that pushes all the blazes that happen to be in front of them because they're kind of throwing them out of the way like it's some sort of Black Friday sale or something like that and that uh, makes us lots of wither skulls which we have quite a few actually a um, few stacks so far so we're going to be in the age of beacons here pretty soon and then of course uh, blaze rods getting quite a few of those as well and even a little bit of gold not a whole lot of gold, but that's okay. We'll be getting some more gold soon once we build our eventual gold farm and bartering setup. And also, uh, I attended an auction with Arrington where he was selling all of his old stuff. And well, this happened. How do we have 33? 33. 33. We have 34. 34. We need to jump higher than single diamonds. Four stacks of diamonds. Wow. Four stacks of diamonds. Four and a half stacks of diamonds. I will do right, we're at five stacks of diamonds. I will give you all the diamonds in my pocket, which is more than five stacks of diamonds, so I'm not willing to Ooh. say how much. Wait, wait a second. Wait, this just got interesting. Well, we're we're going to have to get to that number, though, to, to figure out if Loki can compete. Yeah, what's, what's your... He what's can't. Your... Oh, I can. He can't. It's... What's your what's your max bid? Is that what we're going straight to? <laughs> what you got? Okay, what's your max bid? No, what's your max bid? You go first. <laughs> max bid? Is that a new number? Okay, this is technically not my max bid because I can always go and raid block hunters. <laughs> max. Five stacks and twenty six. Five stacks and twenty six. Five stacks. How about a stack of blocks? <gasps> stack of. Oh. Blocks, that's it'd never be richer. <laughs> that was so epic that the time of day completely changed in a second. <laughs> Loki, uh, I am going to let you have this, but maybe you should spend your time building a starter base. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh. there you go, sir. What? That is so many diamonds. <laughs> 
I really hope that you enjoy your wares. Oh, it's fine. I genuinely... It, it wasn't about what's in the auction. It's about winning. That's more important about winning. <laughs> oh. But, I, but have, I mean, I do want I've all everything getting... that's in here. <laughs> you know, I think Archie might be a little bit right there. So I'm going to go ahead and head out into the ocean to see what I can find in regards to materials. I'm thinking... We built something out of, you know, some of the shipwreck boats since we kind of have a little bit of an island theme going on over at the Starter Island. And I think, you know, that'll help me stay uh, nice and centered in the fact that I won't be building a giant, ridiculously huge build. It'll be something that's much more simpler and much more manageable, of course. So let's go ahead and gather some resources and see what I can come up with. So you know how we was going to build something simple out of shipwrecks? Yeah. <laughs> Old habits die hard. Meet Shipwreck. Hello, they call me Shipwreck. He's my new starter base. It's amazing what you can engineer with steam engines these days. A little trickier to get working than quantum batteries, but I think it's a success. The problem now is, the island is very crowded, and I'm not really sure where we're going to be able to set up. I think I'll check with a few of the cast members to see if they don't mind if I set up near them. I mean, it's not that big of a base. Low down there, duds! Loki, what are you doing? I, I'm trying to find a place to put my starter base. There's not really any place to build along this shoreline here. Uh, can I put my really small conservative starter house next to your base? You call that small? You're blocking the entire ocean view. Relatively small, yeah. I don't know, man. Okay, fine. I'll find another place. Anyways, nice talking to you. Bye. Bye. Goodbye, Dudge. Bye, giant robot. What on earth is that? Hello, pleased to make your acquaintance. Hey, Archie. Oh, a weapon of mass destruction next to my base. Well, that sounds perfect. Fine, I'll move it. The HOA will hear about this. All right, well, here's our wonderful starter base that we finally found a resting place for. Go figure that I would have to actually create an island off of the island to <laughs> house this thing because it is too big for the mainland over here. Also, we've been visited, I believe, by the HOA, so let's take a look and see what Archie has to say here. List of infractions, help and safety, obvious weapon of mass destruction. Find 10 diamond blocks. I mean, it's not obvious weapon of mass destruction. I mean, I'm sure I probably could do some mass destruction with this, but he's a friendly robot. Besides, I talked to Archie, and you know what? I've got immunity, so I can do what I want when it comes to the HOA. Uh, just have to trade a you know swift sneak book for that. All right, so of course he's, you know, we can fly in there, but you know, if you don't have an elytra and you want to hop inside as well. I also made it accessible through his hands. So if we do a little bit of parkour up here and we hop up onto his giant massive non-weapon of mass destruction hands. And it allows us to basically hop up here and we can climb this ladder and not fall off. And then, uh, let's see. And then I think we can... I'm trying to remember how to get in here. Oh, yes. Right through here. And ladder. And we go right up his entire arm. All right. And here's the inside. Not a whole lot inside here right now. It's pretty hollow. Um, I need to decorate a little bit. Uh, what we've got though up top we're gonna have access to his head and then down here we have the central uh, chambers for all the steam power 
and we can of course um, generate some lava through here as well. I've got a small lava farm in here and uh, I'm going to probably put some storage and crafting stuff down here as well. Uh, plus we can maybe drop down um, out of the top here, which I've already done. I think I want to maybe make it work and like open up in the ground or something like that and take us to like a, maybe a secret rail way or something. Um, something kind of cool and technical with that. We'll see. Uh, what else? Oh, yes. The feet are accessible as well. So we can actually head on down here and there's more room for storage or whatever we want to put in here. I'm probably not going to build a storage room in here because, um, you know, we're going to be building a storage room probably in the next episode or two. I just don't want to, like, bring all my stuff to a starter base and then move it back out to another storage room. So, uh, but we have room for whatever else we want to put in here. Um, fun things we can store in here. Maybe mini heads or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, that is our massive, massive robot. Let's get a view from the top here. Actually, a couple places we can get a nice view. So over here we have another observation deck. Now we're going to kind of look out on our balcony and check out Peep's Place and check out half of the HOA. And then we go back inside and we climb all the way to the top and then of course I also put some powdered snow down there um, so we can drop down a little bit quicker but up here we're gonna have some of the uh, brains of the operation right now uh, to allow our shipwreck guy to talk and you know outside of you know movie magic of course <laughs> he'll be able to communicate with the different players that walk by should think it'd be fun but yeah i got a nice view over here of like the entire island it's a little bit taller than the island so you can see pretty much everything um and yeah unfortunately i couldn't park my base near duds or whatever because you know i don't want to ruin his ocean view and speaking of duds we got together to discuss building the gold farm together see look it's doing it again i i don't know they're cursed animals Look at him. What is wrong yeah. with this? It's like hovering yeah, in the I mean, air. Any pet of mine can't have a mind. They, they all want to escape. They don't want to stay in their, their <laughs> pens. You know, I have all yeah. of uh, Peep's um, sniffers over there keep jumping out of the walls too, so. I think I have a sniffer of his on the cliff side right behind Mega's base. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> All right, I'll have to move it back. I've been wrangling those things, unbeknownst to him, for a while now, just to put them back in there. But yeah, I'm not surprised. Mary Poppins. <laughs> and then another successful rescue. So anyways, um, so you were talking a little bit about uh, starting up another shop over there? Not necessarily another shop. Okay. I need these. Ah, yes. I'm familiar but, with the, the golden carrot. But not just a golden carrot. I am trying to make the perfect taco. The perfect taco. Ah, yes. yes I understand. Yes. It's, yeah, because you know the perfect taco includes golden carrots. Mm, that is true. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the first ingredient is obviously gold. And I had to walk past your gold farm every day last season, back and forth into the nether. So I figured you were the guy to hit up. Well, yep. I was going to build another gold farm. So I'd definitely love to go into business with you. That'd be fun. Uh, in mm -hmm. fact, I've already gotten started. I put together a magma cube farm. So we have enough yep. magma blocks to make a gold farm. And yep. All right. Well, cool. Um, yeah, we can definitely get started on that. So we'll just have to um, 
get the materials put together, and then we'll go build it. Nice. Okay, and here's the gold farm that we put together with duds. Uh, this is essentially identical to what I built last season. So uh, this is a design here that I've improved. I think from Razeworks was the one that kind of came up with similar designs. There's been many different that are different designs that are kind of set up like this. I know I've expanded the platforms. I maxed out the number of platforms that we have in here. I think there's like 16 platforms or something. It's ridiculous. As you can see, it's so efficient. Like I can just get somewhat near it and it's already generating stuff. Um, over here, we have ENXO4's uh, next generation bee farm uh, with two different modules. So this side over here does honey bottles. This side does the honeycomb. And then over here, we have our bartering setup, which this is, I believe, a uh, logical geek boy design. And the way this works, and the real only improvement I've done from last season is I remember to silence the piglins that are in here. So we've got 24 piglins inside of this chamber here. We drop our gold in, it dispenses it out, and kicks it across this ice highway to basically sort out everything. So uh, it works pretty good. I just thought about expanding this bee farm because uh, I do have a few more bee nests I could actually put in here. But it's generating stuff pretty fast. I don't know if I'm going to really need a lot of honeycomb uh, right away. But, I mean, we've already got, you know, what, five double chests. And we're starting to fill up that sixth one. And then over here, of course, um, I haven't cleaned this out yet. I think Duds has been AFK in this. So we have some honey blocks there. Already almost have a shulker worth of honey blocks. So it's 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 working pretty good and that will come in handy when we start building more farms which we're going to be doing here very soon and then already with afking this uh, quite a bit you know a lot of this stuff is already full so you know we're set for a while there's a lot of gas down there but yeah um i love this setup i can't live without this thing especially with the gravel with the amount of concrete that i use and the blackstone uh, it's really nice. And same process for getting the piglins in here as last time. Basically set up a little temporary section over in this area. Um, that was basically a crimson forest. And then we kind of minecarted them over and lured them up and they fell inside. Alright, I'm going to get away from those gas because they are annoying. But anyways, that's all the time we have left in this episode. It's been a lot to go through and... I'm hoping they get these episodes out a little bit quicker, but, you know, we had a lot of different projects we got stuck on, and time flew away. <laughs> but let's get that storage room put together very soon, as well as that guardian farm, and that's going to be exciting, because I love me some sea lanterns. Anyways, thank you for watching, and until next time, safe travels, everyone.